Hi, in this video, we're going to show you how to prep a gravity sketch drawing for our initial pattern. So let's import the FBX from gravity sketch to Blender. And in this case, we imported a welded model. We're going to go into uh, edit mode. And then we're going to unwrap it. Okay, sweet. And then we're going to get this one exported in an EPS format. And then we're going to go ahead and Open that up in Adobe Illustrator. Cool, so now we're in Illustrator and then we're gonna pull up that EPS that we just UV unwrapped in Blender. There we go. And the EPS file is going to have a fill and an outline, or in this case, the, the outline and the mesh line. So what we're going to do is isolate the fill, which is the gray, and separate that from the mesh lines. And then we're going to just delete the mesh lines. We don't need those. So we're going to work with the shapes. And you can already see that um, they're already pattern shapes. So now what we're going to do is unite all of those little individual shapes and make them one piece, just like so. And then we're gonna just repeat the operation for the, the back piece. It's gonna take just a little bit of finessing to make sure that we get all of the included separate pieces into one grouping before we unite these. Go and then let's unite those as well. So when we get to do pieces like sleeves, for instance, we only need to do, if it's a symmetrical design, we only need to do um, one side and then we'll mirror that. So we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna select and isolate all of these individual pieces, make sure that they're all intact. There we go. Let's fix a little bit of that sleeve cap up there. And we're going to be using uh, okay. Nice and clean. We're going to be using this where's right sleeve and then we'll just duplicate that to make the where's left. So let's just delete these pieces we don't need. And again, we're just prepping this to make an initial pattern. So this is not yet gonna be for a commercialized workflow yet. We're still in the ideation and concepting phase. It is just a really fast way to get a pattern out quickly. And these shapes are, again, initial shapes without seam allowances or anything. So again, we're, we're prepping this to, again, to be exported as a DXF, so then we can get it into a Gerber or Clo or Browseware. So the document info menu right up here, or the info page, little, that little info page up there is really going to be useful for us. And it's going to show us measurements. And in this case, what we're going to do is isolate the arm hole. So we're just deleting all the lines that we don't need for the back armhole, and we're going to do the same thing for the front armhole here. And we're going to go clean that up a little bit. And we're working in inches at, at the moment. Now we're going to put the front armhole and the back armhole lines together. We're going to actually join those. 
and we're going to make a complete measurement and measure that out. So let's put these together and join them. And looks like we have about a seven inch total arm hole. Okay, sweet, seven inches. Now what we're going to do to make sure that the scale is right, that the sleeve cap will fit the armhole is do the same thing. So we're going to delete all the lines that we don't need and we're just going to isolate the sleeve cap. And then we're going to scale the sleeve cap to roughly the same measurement as the armhole. So in this case, it's going to be about seven inches. And then before that, we're going to just mark F for the front sleeve cap and then B for the back of the sleeve cap. Or I forget. All right, so now I'm scaling it and I'm taking a cl close eye on the document info measurements. And Now I have it at seven inches for the sleeve cap, and then I'm going to take the overall pattern shape for the sleeve, and this will be my master sleeve pattern. Just want to make sure that it matches the reference line that I used initially. Sweet. Now place the, the back and the front lettering. I'm going to mirror that and make a Wears left sleeve, and then also put a F and a B on that sleeve as well. So there you go. These are pretty much prepped and scaled to each other and ready for exporting to the next application to turn it into a real working pattern. Thanks for watching.